If such popular and famous people like Rey Mysterio, Kevin Nash, and Action Bronson trust Medellin with their stem cell needs, this city obviously has something to offer. So what does that mean for regular expats and medical tourists that come here? As someone who has spent five years in Vietnam without learning the local language, I know how important it is to find reliable healthcare options when moving to a new country, especially if you don't speak the local language. That's why, as part of my Generic Expats project, I wanted to explore this new growing field and share an interview with Eric, an expat owner of a stem cell company that caters to the medical tourists and expat community here in Medellin, right after this introduction to the Generic Expats project. Hey, it's Eric from Generic Expats and welcome to Season 2 South America. We give you boots on the ground, real life videos and perspectives on living in and moving to Latin America, focusing on safety, cost of living, healthcare, weather, and telling the story of expats currently living in both expat hubs and undiscovered gems here in the region. As I slowly drive through and live in each country in the top, after driving for nearly two years from Minnesota down through Mexico and Central America, I literally have been preparing to do this solo project for the past 15 years and I hope you enjoy all the content coming at you right now. Today I have a special guest that is going to be telling us a little bit about his services that he does here in this beautiful place that we are located in now. Let's go ahead and get to know him. What is your name? Uh, I have a great name, it's Eric. <laughs> Generic expat meets Eric. The, the, the twin brothers, okay? And where are you from? <laughs> so I'm actually originally from Massachusetts and Vermont, but I went to college in Florida, and then I moved to Los Angeles for 31 years in entertainment. So the whole time I was basically in the entertainment business. Oh, fantastic. And where are we now? So we're in Medellin, Colombia, a place that I never thought I would be. Uh, but about almost four years ago, a friend of mine said, you gotta come here, it's amazing. You're gonna love it, it's before COVID. And uh, I just, you know, I think that when you just do things instinctively, you always make the right choice. I literally was on the phone with him, got, went to my computer and just looked up Priceline tickets, Medellin. And I literally, oh, I literally ordered the ticket right there. I didn't, didn't question it. You know, a lot of people I know that I tell how great the city is and they, they, they ask me a million questions like, bro, I just told you it's great. Why are you asking me questions? You don't trust me? And so I came down here for eight days and I absolutely fell in love with the city, which many people do. Many of my patients, are, our patients do. Huh. And then um, I went back to the States and then uh, COVID hit. And I had to wait, you know, seven months to come back. And I came back, stayed for a year and a half. Then I went and trained in medicine in, in Cancun. And I came, after a year, I came back and I've been here for a year and a quarter. Fantastic. So you mentioned clients. So let's talk a little bit about what exactly that means. So we are obviously in like a medical office. What, what kind of clients are you dealing with? Well, first of all, our clients or slash patients are people that have, you know, pain usually, some sort of pain, knee pain, back pain. Uh, they could have PTSD, which we've treated. We've treated multiple sclerosis. We've treated Parkinson's, um, but most of it's general health, uh, anti-aging. So guys my age, 30, <laughs> just kidding. So I'm obviously over 50. So my age, uh, I get a lot of patients in my age category that are, that have, a lot of guys and women that have been very active in their life, very entrepreneurial, and they have a lot of physical ailments, and we treat them with stem cell therapy. Okay, so stem cell therapy is definitely a new type of medicine. It's a new type of um, like idea for many people. So let's talk a little bit more about stem cells because I think there's maybe like a negative connotation with stem cells, right? Well, you know, we all think of stem cells when we think of Christopher Reeves, Superman, who passed Unfortunately, remember he fell off a horse and they tried to get in about 2002, they tried to get some uh, stuff passed through the Congress that would make stem cell therapy legal. The problem was that we were deriving the mesenchymal stem cells, which are the really the, the baby cells that heal from aborted fetuses. And for two reasons, that was not good. One, the Catholic Church did not like it at all. And uh, George Bush was a Catholic, a heavy Catholic, and they just blocked it. Number two, and more importantly to me, was when you pull cells out of a, out of a baby, that uh, uh, aborted baby, you're going to get cells that have been differentiated. That means they've been turned into something. You know, you could pull a cell out of your arm, it could be a bone cell, a skin cell, a, a, you know, a ligament cell, cartilage cell. That's not what you want to heal with. You want to, typically, you want to heal with cells that have not been differentiated. So how do you find those? The umbilical cord. 
Why? Because the cord is the highway the cells go to to get to the body. Mm. But they got cut. They didn't make it. <laughs> so they get into the body of the baby. So they're sitting there going, can we do something, please? You know. And so we take those babies and we culture them and we replicate them and we make billions of cells every month that we introduce back into us into a body. Right. And um, so from what I'm understanding, uh, you have a lot of competition, but there is something that really differentiates uh, your company, which is named uh, Reju, right? Reju. R-E-J-U. Yep. -E and our, right. our slogan is Reju U. <laughs> ah, that's so, great. I didn't see that. Yourself, yeah. That's nice. So speaking of the stem cells and you know replicating, uh, you mentioned that the way that you do stem cells, the way that you guys make it, is how you have a, an advantage to your competition. Right? One of our competitive advantages, so here in Medellin, we're looking out this window of this beautiful city, and right over here is BioAccelerator, which is uh, a major player in the business, probably the biggest clinic in stem cell therapy right here in Medellin. And um, we really do well competing with them. And the reason why is our stem cell line, which is out of Bogota, we actually produce the cells in Bogota, is a very, very young cell. It's uh, very strong, young is strong, uh, very tiny cells, and uh, they can't compete. Bioaccelerator cells are double the pass rate, meaning they, they've been replicated double the number of times. And you know that from a copy machine, when you replicate, replicate, it weakens the copy. Same thing applies here. So our cell line is twice as effective, in my opinion, and it's half the cost. I don't have to be a great salesman <laughs> to sell that, okay? Plus, our clinic is beautiful, and we're in a building that's 16 stories tall, all of which has medical facilities here. So if I need to have you do a hyperbaric, I'll send you upstairs. If I need you to do surgery, I'll send you down to the surgery room. And it, it's all in, in the same medical building. So a potential patient coming here, if, if you are going to see them, you pretty much can do what uh, the services you need to do here in this one building. Is that right? That's correct. Everything's done in this building. And, and let me say something about the patients. Uh, so uh, we get a call going. We, we have an initial call. There's no selling. It's all education. Until you're educated to a certain level, you're comfortable with this. what we do. This is the fourth quantum leap in medicine. This is the fourth quantum leap. This means, so the first quantum leap in medicine was penicillin. Because we didn't have penicillin on the battlefield. People died like crazy, right? So And then surgery was another quantum leap. This is the fourth one. Once you understand stem cell therapy and understand as a consumer how to go out and get the right cells, you're going to come to us <laughs> pretty much the whole time, every time. <laughs> so we have done phenomenally well in the city and continue to be blessed to be able to serve uh, people from all over the world. Fantastic. Well, it seems like it's definitely a passion of yours. Speaking of how you offer all these really good competitive prices and good quality products, I mean, let's talk about the services. Let's talk about what you actually do. What is the most common thing that you do here at Reggie? I think that the most common thing we do here is joints. You know, oh, everyone always has a joint problem, usually with men, it's shoulders or knees. Um, we do a lot of anti-aging. That's where we just do a general IV and the cells go all over the body and reduce inflammation. We do a lot of P shots. We don't do a lot of V shots, we do a lot of P shots. P shot's a penis shot. Uh, and, we, uh, and we take men my age and we inject their penises. I know it sounds crazy, but it really works well and it's pretty much painless. And my uh, erections are way better, my orgasms are way better, blah, blah, blah. And we do it for women called the V shot as well. That's a very popular procedure uh, and way less expensive than the US. So in the US, the big thing about the US is that you can't expand the cells. You're not legally. You, the FDA is not allowing expansion. That means you can't take the cells off the umbilical cord and make more cells. You have to use only what you have there. And for that reason, you can't. You, there's not a lot of cells to use. And unfortunately, most of the healing that needs to be done, you need a lot more stem cells. Mm. I'm not saying there's no value in the US, that's not fair, but it's a very expensive process there for a very, like I'll give you an example, 60 million mesenchymal stem cells off the umbilical cord, not cultured, is gonna cost you about $20,000 in the US. Here it would cost you four thousand know, dollars. Oh, okay, cheaper. five times cheaper. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah, five yeah. times cheaper. Uh -huh. So you want to get the expanded cells um, until the FDA approves stem cell therapy, which they're working on, and then it'll be available everywhere. But we'll still be less expensive here. Mm. Medical tourism is real, guys. I'm going to tell you something your your audience will love. Okay, see this? These are veneers. These are uh, um, what do you call them? porcelain veneers, and these are uh, acrylic veneers. Twenty of them. Four thousand dollars. Wow! You go to Good Beverly problem. Hills and ask them how much that costs you. This will cost you at least thirty thousand dollars. Wow! So 
You take a flight down here to a beautiful airport. This airport's an international airport. You get picked up by, by a beautiful human being. Usually it's a woman. They're all beautiful here. And they bring you here. They take you to a hotel that's a four-star or a Airbnbs, which are amazing. And you, and you save 16 grand or 26 grand, whatever. I don't understand why everyone's not doing medical tourism. I don't understand it. Get guys, get your passport. <laughs> you know, I think a main part of that is that there's so many people that are afraid of flying because everyone has this idea in their heads. When especially people that don't fly or don't have family or friends that fly, they're just like, "Well, that's too difficult. Oh, well, I have to have a passport. That sounds like a lot of work." And it's like people just over exaggerate how difficult it is to do things because we're just. You know, we have the idea that the U.S. has everything we need. I mean, it obviously does, but for a massive premium, huge premium. So, yeah, like what you're saying. Fifty percent of the men that come to Medellin miss their flight back. That <laughs> is a factual it. statement. They love it. So, and not that women don't either, but men really love the city. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when you come here, you'll understand why. I, I, I'm never leaving. I lived in L.A. for 31 years. I I was right in West Hollywood. I'm, I'm not going back. So one question I have about your patients is you mentioned about you have many um, men uh, that come here. Are they the majority of your patients? Or are they a bit more than half? Or how, how is the percentage on that? Our, our breakdown between men and women is about 70% men currently. Now, understand that men have more physical problems. They're more active t- typically. And so they have more issues. So right. that's why. Women come here and get a lot of aesthetics done. That's the face. Mm. Do a full stem cell facial. Can take 15 years off your face hair in some cases if you have thinning hair neck okay we and we and we do and then in the general make sure with skin glow so think about this ladies every pregnant woman you know everyone says the same thing oh my god you look so beautiful you're glowing that's because of stem cells the stem cells are making the baby stem cells get all over your body it makes you look gorgeous it's been known women, pregnant women are among the most beautiful women in the world mm. so Oh, that's a very interesting fact. I never, I uh, didn't even thought about it that way. But yeah, I guess, I guess that totally glow, makes sense. Right? Glow. Totally <laughs> makes sense. It's not by accident. Um, so you mentioned that Medellin is a big hub for medical tourism. And that's very obvious. I mean, people come here for, like you said, like for teeth, big time is really Nose. good for that. There's just really high quality, really low cost services here in not only Medellin but all of Colombia. So what I want to ask is, why do you think it's better to come here than to go to maybe Thailand or Asia? Well, I, I, you know, going to Thailand may be a good good solution for you, but it's 25 hours. Um, I think hair, Turkey is a great place to go for hair. We do hair here as well. Um, but I think in beauty, Medellin is this location. And for those of you who don't know, Medellin is known as the home of the Paisa. A Paisa, which is t- more talking about women than men, are always looking good. So the city is, every girl in the city has had their teeth done, braces, they're all... Maybe not veneers, but they've had you know they had braces. They all dress really nice. I don't, I don't care if they're getting in the Uber to go home at the end of the night. They're getting dressed. They're they're doing their hair and their makeup again. There's, there's a fashion nature of beauty here. It's really important. So the uh, the natural beauty that he mentioned, I'll definitely share a little point that I can relate to. I go to the um, Brazilian chain, the gym chain, Smart Fit, and every single girl's are wearing makeup. They have perfume on. I'm like. For me, it's just, you know, it, it's a little bit weird because I, mean, I go there to exercise. You know? And, you know, that's, I, I'm more practical. I'm a man, right? And then uh, other, other men, uh, men do the same thing as the women. I mean, they, they dress up really, obviously not makeup, but they dress up really nice. They wear really good clothes and they wear a ton of cologne. And I'm just like, you know? it wouldn't make sense that medical tourism would be here for, for beauty. Yeah. So that, think about it. So people just, they love looking and smelling beautiful and doing that thing to have like that, that, basically that characteristic and that, that that is very obvious here so he's totally right this is kind of the 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 cradle of beauty almost in latin america to 100%. be honest you think about it, if you live on the east coast you go to miami miami medellin you go to the west coast you go panama panama medellin if you're in the central part of the country you go houston Pan- uh, medellin this is not it's no excuse for not coming here guys. and there there are direct flights from direct uh, miami flights. yeah that Many flights within the U.S. to make it really, really cheap. You can go just to Miami straight. And Miami, what is it, like 150 sometimes? Yeah. You can you find on probably Spirit, the, the cheapest ones. Man, they're, they're crazy cheap. So We have so many people from Florida here because they all learn about Medellin. They all come back and back and back. Right, it's right. not a secret here there, but in other parts of the country. Exactly. Because many actually, where I'm from, it's actually further from Miami than Colombia is. <laughs> my, I looked it up. I'm like, what? How is that possible? But it is. It's a, it's a, it's a faster flight and in distance, it's actually closer. 
you obviously have a lot of things to offer people that are coming here to Medellin for medical tourism. Can you give us a couple of the ways people can contact you? So like website or social media? Yeah, well, uh, the best way is our website, which is Reju, that's R-E-J-U, medical tourism, T-O-U-R-I-S-M dot com. Uh, you can also contact us at US 310-709-1259. Uh, and the last thing I want to say is people ask me about cancer a lot. A lot of you guys don't have issues, but your mom and dad does or your grandma. And so cancer is not, an, uh, it cannot be treated with stem cell therapy currently. However, there is a new amazing therapy on the market called NK therapy. It's in Thailand. Uh, it was from China. China is way ahead of all of us in, med in uh, research in medicine. Chinese are research monsters and they have really uh, gotten ahead of all of us. So, and plus they don't, their government pays for everything. So NK therapy is where they take the natural killer cells and they replicate them and they modify them for the cancer that you have and they put them back in your body. We do send patients there. So if you have it, someone with cancer and it's not over stage two, uh, we can help treat them. Oh, it's very, very useful information. I didn't even realize that, yeah, that those things were, were available, that they're working on them. Yeah. Oh, trust me, the pharmaceutical companies really want you to know this. <laughs> right. <laughs> One other advantage of, you know, being a, a medical tourist is, you know, getting out of the realm of just being, you know, being told that you really can't fix things that actually are fixable outside okay. the U.S. Well, one of the big things is autoimmune. And that's one of the great things about stem cell therapy, whether you have Lyme's disease or any of the autoimmune um, blends, uh, stem cells is one of your solutions. So you should really look at the, this therapy, whether it's with us or with somebody else that's credible. So my name's Richard and I am a stem cell success story. So I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease about two years ago. And today is my first day back at the gym. I am completely normal with no symptoms after getting two drips pretty soon after diagnosed with Parkinson's, um, none of my symptoms returned. And finally, I was getting a little bit of the tremblers back and did another drip. I am now on nine months after the last drip I've had. Thank you, Trustum and Dr. Escobar and their amazing stem cells. And I have no signs of Parkinson's. I'm completely normal. And thank God today is my first day back in the gym. And I'm really excited to get back at it. Thanks again. Um, Trust him Labs, Dr. Escobar, thank you, Dr. Ochoa, and God bless everyone. Have a great day. Speaking of all the different services you do offer, can you give us a couple examples of what they would be and the prices that you offer compared to your competitors? Yeah, so pricing, everyone's always worried about pricing because you hear in the market it's so expensive, and it can be. I mean, there's no question. So my competitors, I'm not going to mention who they are, but uh, they will not treat you if you don't spend more at least $25,000. It's the, the reason it is they don't have enough room in their clinics. So they have to maximize their ROI, their return on investment. So they do it that way. It's not that they're bad guys. Um, so we, we don't play that game. If, if you need a procedure that's three or $4,000, we, we'll consider doing it. However, I'll also pitch you on, if you're going to do your shoulder, let's do a general IV. I'll give you a deal. We call it bundling. But you know, prices run anywhere from three thousand dollars up to you know of course you can spend twenty thousand hmm. dollars but it'll be half any of the real competitors there's some companies i don't even consider a competitor but the ones that actually produce a decent sell and they're well recognized in the game uh we we beat them by 40 percent every day i will guarantee it <laughs> wow that's in crazy information and when you mentioned um flying into the airport and someone picking up the patients mm -hmm. is that included in the prices one of the things I want you all to know about medical tourism is that most of these companies are smart enough to be able to provide, provide great concierge service. Uh, we're not alone in that area. However, the person you talk to before your trip, the one who does your onboarding and your uh, facilitation, typically is at the airport with a sign with your name on it. You know, somebody who's really well dressed, well put together, uh, and they're there and they will be with you through the whole experience. Dropping off the airport, picking up in the morning, having somebody pick you up. We have a bunch of drivers that drive for us. So you really don't do anything without us. So would a typical like package include the accommodation and the pickup service? So the typical package includes pickup service. I don't like to include the, 
the hotel, but I will sometimes if it's some, if it's necessary. Um, because there's a lot of choices here, and you should be able to make your own. Sure. But we'll we'll talk about it. I mean, it's all part of the negotiation of the of the of the deal. Mm. Um, but I will tell you this much: not only will we give you the best price of any of the, our competitors, uh, but we also have the best sell line. So we have the best sells and the best price. So, so if you don't at least look at us, you're really not doing yourself a service. When we talked about the stem cells before, you mentioned that yours are higher quality. Is, is there a reason why yours are higher quality compared to your competitors? You, one of the things I think is unfortunate in the business is that the consumer doesn't really have the right information to make an intelligent decision. If I was you looking at stem cell therapy as my option, I would make sure that the cell line, where the laboratory the cells are produced at, does not go beyond four passage. That means that it doesn't replicate more than four times in these replication boxes. Little box, bigger box, bigger box, bigger box. Every time you replicate it, it doubles in, in yield. It's good, right? But it's not good in the sense that the cells get watery. So I don't like to use a cell over 12 replications, and I don't like to use a box passage rate more than four. That means each time it gets passed to another box and replicates up to 80% of the wall of the box because it, it, the cells like plastic, they stick to plastic. I wouldn't do it that way. If you do, you may not get as good a result. And I see the complaints online come from companies that replicate 12 times, they, they're 12 passages. They can do that because they want to cheat and make more money. They still, they're still stem cells, but they're not effective. Do not go beyond six at the most. And I'm going to give you a three pass, so you should at least call us. So what you're saying is basically, not only do you have probably double the quality, but also half the price. Yeah, we could argue it's double the quality, although maybe not completely true. Like a six passage cell may not be half as effective, but it definitely isn't as effective. And mm -hmm. I wouldn't take any risks. Look at guys, if you spend $12,000, it's a lot of money. Get the biggest bang you can for your buck. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't, you know, even though that 12,000 may be half somebody else's, Still twelve thousand dollars, you know, exactly. or eight thousand, or twenty, or whatever it is. Mm. Yeah. Well, all of this information is fantastic. And is there anything else you want to add? Come, 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 come. When you come to Medigine, stem cell therapy is not like surgery. You don't have a long recovery window. Typically, within forty-eight hours, you're completely back to normal, and then you're starting to feel better. So you should come down here, spend a few days to get treatment, anywhere from three to five days for treatment, and then maybe spend a few days uh, exploring the city. Uh, meeting people here, the Colombian people are really beautiful people. Mm -hmm. And this location of the clinic as well is in one of the best places in the entire city, if not the entire country. Poblado is a really beautiful place and there's a lot of cool things to see, nice places to stay at, nice places to go have some you know, drinks and food and everything, like meet some new people. You know, it's, it's probably 75% less expensive here than the US, mm. so about well, one quarter, right. including the steak that you get that's $25, it's this big. and. You just, you, you'll, you'll spend the whole time going, I can't believe how cheap it is. I can't believe how cheap it is. It took me a year to stop saying that. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe how cheap it is. I can't believe I've never been here before. Right. right? And then the other thing is, why didn't I come here before? Why didn't I come here before? <laughs> well, because Pablo Escobar was here 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah he was. <laughs> well, he ain't here anymore. And well, the people are actually very docile. They're, that's why dictators can take over because they, they're just not alphas here. Hmm. And they, they're beautifully kind people. Yeah. So one other thing mentioning Pablo Escobar and for people that actually do fall in love with the city, that they like the place and they want to check out other areas. I mean, going to Comuna Trece is yeah. where as a cool tourist attraction. I just went and made a video there last week and it's a really cool place. It's been really growing and there's a lot of interesting history there. It's like the graffiti art capital of the city. So Dr. Mia Choa, who we're blessed to be working with, is a U.S. trained doctor who's got a double degree, she's very bright, um, and you would think that these type of doctors aren't gonna be located here, but that's not true. Let's go ahead and talk to one of the professionals that works with Eric in his services. So can you please introduce yourself? What is your name? My name is Mia Choa. And where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Okay, great. Are you from Medellin? Yeah, I'm from here. Born and Born raised, and raised huh? here. What type of job do you do in uh, partnership with Eric? Okay, so basically, we, Eric, we are doing a lot of treatments and we're performing stem cell treatments since like two years ago that we opened the facility here in Medellin, Colombia before I was studying in the States for the learning about new, new, new techniques, new things that is happening in all this stem cells industry. So the idea is so we can bring all the best quality treatments with Reju uh, with our partners. So Great. our patients are really happy with them. 
Awesome. And so you did your doctor training as well in the United States? Yeah, no, like I do my medical degree here in Colombia, then I moved to Luxembourg, do plastic surgery for two years, and then I moved to the States and I do get my PhD. Oh, wow. So it's a long process to get where you are. Huh? <laughs> it has been many years of study. <laughs> and so you are the golden star that is doing the, the work for, for Reju, right? Exactly. Fantastic. Yes, well, thank you so much for introducing it's yourself. It's a pleasure. Guys, this is who we're dealing with. This is the, uh, the star behind the, uh, the, behind the curtain. <laughs> a lot of them live here because they, first of all, she is Paisa, she's from here. But a lot of them live here because it's so inexpensive. They, they can charge less and help more people. A lot of them are very kind to be here. So take advantage of that. Take advantage of the great doctors in the city. Besides Mia that you're working with, um, how many other types of um, professionals are you working with? Well, you know, f most of the procedures are done through Dr. Ochoa, but we do have, you know, specialists for hands and feet and things of that nature. We have, of course, hyperbaric that we do, uh, that there's another technician for that. And then uh, for our surgery room, when we have to do the back, we use a fluoroscope, an anesthesiologist, and two doctors, Dr. Ochoa and another doctor, so that we get, get it really well. Because backs are delicate, you need to be really on top of your game. Um, so we use a number of different professionals in that regard. Speaking of fixing backs, this actually hits a personal point for me because this is another reason why I wanted to uh, partner with you to show what you offer and to, and to help you, you know, reach a bigger audience and help people get your services and get your healing. Because my dad, when he was alive, my dad passed away three years ago, and uh, he had back pain that literally debilitated him for probably 20 years. Wow. And if he would have been able to take advantage of this new technology when he was in his 30s, I'm in my 30s, I'm 36. So if he would have, you know, he, he died at 57. So imagine at 37, 20 years before he died, if he would have had 20 years of better quality of life, he had a, a it's called a slip disc. And he just, you know, just had such a bad quality of life from this one thing that happened to him, some accident in there, something, I think it was actually work related. So yeah. it's just like, it kind of hits home to me, like seeing someone really passionate about helping everyone else and, you know, wishing I could have helped my dad do that in the past. So yeah, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, helping Eric. people out, the Eric's. Oh, man, and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you a little bit of the facilities that we can show you here at the clinic here in Las Vegas. So let's go ahead and check it out.